Hey y'all, Irix Guy here, and this is my whole house water softener and whole house water filter. So I just want to talk about how I set this up. Um, you can expand this video's description and then click the link there to find everything, where to order everything online. But basically these are, I'm in a basement. This is the line that's coming from the street. So I've got an on off valve there, which is nice. So when I change this whole house filter, I can turn the water off from the street. I can open a faucet, drain all the uh, drain all the excess water out, and then I can replace this filter. This is the whole house filter. You know, depending upon your water quality that's coming into your house, this may be an every six month replacement. It may be more frequently. It could be less, less frequently. So what I'm gonna do when I hit six months is take it out, and then that'll give me a good idea. Is it really dirty? Is it kind of dirty? Do I need to stick to the? Do I need to stick to the every six months? Do I need to do it less often? My water's pretty clean from the city, but uh, so there's the whole house filter, and then that comes down into the uh, reverse osmosis system. Now, uh, this is the forty-eight thousand grain. Again, you can find it, and the other size is linked within this video's description. But the way I've got this set up, I ran the calculations. And it was easy and it told me, you know, how many, uh, approximately how many gallons I needed to set it for. So I've got this set on a time metered mode, which means that, uh, you know, it'll re it'll perform a regeneration once the specified gallons goes through, which I set it for 3,000. So this is the resin tank, which contains balls of resin. They kind of, in a non-technical way, they, they function as magnets of sorts. So when the when the water comes from the city into the whole house filter and then into the uh, and passes through the resin tank, those beads act like magnets of sorts, and they they pull out all of the uh, uh, you know all the undesirable stuff that's making your water hard. And then this right here is the salt tank, and when it performs what's called a regeneration, and what I like about this one is that it's intelligent. It knows how many gallons of water have flow, have flowed through here. So when the regeneration's performed, it's performed based upon the uh, the precise requirements for my location. And there's a really, if you get one of these, there's a really simple calculator tool that'll help you to estimate how many gallons you should set for it to trigger a regeneration. And you can set it to where it does it every few days. You can do it manually, but I've set it to where when it does the 3,000 gallons, it'll trigger regeneration at, at 2 a.m. when probably nothing in the house is in use. But yeah, this is my this is my whole house water filter and water softener solution. And again, expand this video's description and click the link there. You can find where to order it all online. Also, check out my reverse osmosis videos. I've installed a reverse osmosis system too for my drinking water. Thanks for your viewership, and y'all have a good day. Hey, y'all. Irix Guy here. I hope you enjoyed this video, and please be sure to subscribe to my channel, and when you do, ring that bell icon to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership, and y'all have a good day.